。像我在英国蛮喜欢线下购物的，然后都会去就是 h a r r o s 啊这些商场里买，但是回国以后就是真的会有。回国以后的店员就会给我很大的压迫感，品质是很好的，而且就是价格也不是说像像比如说我经常用什么 The Body Shop 或者或者像那个 Lush 我也用过这种、嗯，然后我就觉得又便宜又好用，去呃、嗯、玩的时候我肯定马上就会先看一下，然后但是是可能每天都会看一看一。<笑>其实英国的牌子在国内卖的都蛮贵的，就像 Clark 的话，在国外真的很便宜，然后一次可能买个两三双。The Chinese consumer will be loyal to a UK brand, especially those heritage brands、um, that sell a great story and provide a, a really quality product. They're absolutely also wanting to be able to communicate with brands and use their、uh, smartphone and technology in order to make that purchase. You need to make sure that you've got. Enough notification, point of sale material around the store to tell them that they accept all of the Chinese payment methods. When Chinese consumers come to the UK, they're going to be still looking to pay with their preferred payment methods, and those are Alipay, WeChat Pay, and Union Pay. But when I went to India in the second time, it was last year. 第一，我到他们那个柜台，他们配有中文的导购，而且很多地方是有中文的标识的。那即使说我不是很嗯不懂英文，我也可以买到我自己想要的东西。Tax free shopping is absolutely a must to be offering in in store. They they are expecting it, and it's a way of being able to give discount to the travellers. What's important is to be able to make that as seamless as possible and smooth as possible at the cash desk. 而且我去年去英国发现变化很大的是，以前我们退税很麻烦，要就是在现场弄那个东西，然后还要去机场退税。但现在只要在阿里 pay， 然后他直接就支付宝就可以退回退税了，就这个太方便。对，这个很完美。对。There are other nuances, like dependent on what you're selling, but the gifting market is very important for the Chinese tourists, and so offer a gift wrapping service. A very good reason why selfridges and Harrods are so prevalent with Chinese tourists because of the bag. I think what the Chinese customer is is looking for is that personalisation element,、um, really. Getting from the brand that you understand that they're just not not just a number within a large market, that they're an individual. So don't be afraid to show the Chinese your most exclusive goods.、Uh, they're always looking for something which is different. Then, as long as it's limited or it's not immediately sold, I will buy. Yeah, this kind of thing is very valuable. You should be engaging with them not just on OTAs, but through social media, through possibly key opinion leaders and bloggers. One of the things that we do as part of a comms framework is to look for differentiators, to look for what makes that brand different and what will make it resonate. Because it's better to focus on one differentiator than try and be all things to all people and end up. Literally, just amongst the noise that is China. Yeah.